Hello, um, I'd like to show off the stage 2 of the cheese board. I'm gonna grab a few of these. Now the board should be able to move between um, inside, outside, mine, cellar and such. And it should be able to place trays. In some cases where you have multiple choices on where to put the tray or where, where to put the uh, cheese or the stage of the cheese, it follows a like hard-coded pattern like I usually want to go from cellar cheddar to BBC that makes sense so that's what's hard-coded and pretty much every base level cheese or curd is hard-coded as well because the bot can't really decide right now which cheese is missing or which cheese we need so I, I made it easier for it I also improved the way it goes through the racks. Let's see. If I write now, it should start placing trays. Yeah, there we go. So it's gonna run around and it's gonna fill in even partially filled um, racks. Now I think it should switch to the scanner. Yeah, and now it's starting to scan the racks. It should start, well, it should uh, figure out that there's a certain alignment of uh, racks and it should be able to handle going through them line by line like that, yeah. That makes it go a lot faster than it used to be. And if it happens to find any cheese that's not supposed to be there, it's gonna grab it. Yeah, there might be some possible optimizations like going around corners and such. The pathfinding still doesn't work, doesn't work well. Um, if it grabs some cheese that's not supposed to be there or it matured into the next sta stage, uh, it should be able to determine where it should go with the cheese and it should place it there. Right now there's no check for full racks so it will try to get it there and if it cannot place it there it's probably gonna move on but it's gonna keep the cheese in its inventory and it might lo look back to the placing strategy but I don't care about that right now. Um, my strategy right now is to get enough racks so I can rotate the cheese whenever I need to. Alright, come on, finish this one. And it should, be to, it should be able to determine that um, the racks are aligned along the X coordinate and upstairs. I have a different setup, it's rotated. And it should be able to detect that it's um, aligned along the Y coordinate. And of course it keeps printing out the result to the Discord, like that. Let's do the inside cheese as well. I've improved the way it grabs the trays. I've improved the way it checks the racks. Back, well, at stage one, it didn't really care if it scanned the rack properly or not. Right now, it actually keeps looping back until it reads the whole rack correctly. Um, a lot of stuff can happen, a lot of null pointers can be thrown along the way. So that's why I usually loop through stuff and attempt again and again just to get the result that I'm looking for. Sometimes it won't be able to read the cheese name, sometimes it won't be able to read the maturity or sometimes it might not even be able to find the, the rack. So everything is kind of looping back and repeating itself until it kind of does the thing correctly. But there are like timeouts in every single of those loops just in case um, the bot got stuck. So it's it should be able to continue even though it, it gets stuck. Now it should collect some cheese over here. I think this is gonna be a problem, the gate. If I keep expanding the racks to the west, um, the northern part to the west, 
I think the bot will get stuck on the palisade. I might need to go through the pathfinder and teach it how to handle palisades or I might just bash this part, the, the western part of the inner palisade just so it's out of the way and the bot can just go through and access the rest of the ranks. Now I think that there's some Osipki. Um, oh yeah, it's kind of struggling here because of the regs being here and there, yeah. But it's doing pretty, pretty good job at just going through them. Although it's gonna go back to check the last one and now it's kind of, yeah. So uh, the, the outside cheese is not the most efficient but given I have only like 87 regs over here or no, 46, yeah. Most of the regs are gonna be uh, in my cellar, I need to fill that because of MBC, because of uh, certain stages of Osipki. And now it should be collecting Osipki and it's not collecting Osipki for some reason. Huh. Let's see the result. Yeah, it should have collected Osipki. 14 trays of Osipki? Wait. It, there should be more. Oh yeah, there we go. A 24 trays of Osipki. So yeah, stage two debugging begins. <laughs> I I just wanted to show off that what it does. I need to fix that weird bug where it does not pick up Osipki for some reason. Uh, there might be some issues with the data. I might have like mistyped something, and that's entirely possible. Because I had to rewrite the whole cheese section from wiki into the code, so the bot knows all the cheese types. Yeah, I'm not gonna be running it right here because I think I have shown off, showed off, shown off um, what I wanted. Uh, the the one thing that I could not show off was that it can grab trays and move them around, but I don't have any cheese ready for that, so that might be um, happening the next time. But I'm getting pretty close to having a fully automatic cheese distributor thingy, I guess. And then it can start working with curling tabs, then it can start loading cheese trays and I can just loop it back to the distribution mechanic and it's gonna just, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm still surprised how long everything takes in this game, how poorly the, the code is written and <laughs> Yeah, if I compare it to anything else I do in my life, um, this implementing anything in the game takes like two times. Oh my god, my neighbor is reconstructing his apartment. Um, everything takes longer. All right, it's, that's a good time to uh, quit or <laughs> stop the video. All right, um, see you next time. Hopefully the stage three is gonna be fully automatic. Bye.